The Namibian College of Open Learning, NAMCO, has long been serving Namibians by providing opportunities for them to upgrade their qualifications through open and distance learning. The institution now boasts regional and sub-regional offices located at Ongwe Diva, Rundu, Ochivarongo, Ventuk, Gobabis, Kitmanswip, Walfish Bay, Opuo, and many more. NAMCO, from its humble beginnings when it offered secondary level and tertiary level programs, is now a sought-after educational institution, producing some of Namibia's most influential drivers of the Namibian economy, offering certificate level training, diploma level, as well as a bachelor's degree, through partnerships with other international open distance learning institutions, including the University of South Africa and Seychelles. Check this out. I must say the fact that I failed grade 12 was probably the best gift that God could give me. I always say that I failed it nicely because I have grown so, mu so much from the experience. I was only 17 and um, my journey is so interesting in the fact that I rewrote uh, grade 12 from Namkol, but I also still managed only got 24 points in five subjects with my second attempt, although my points were 28, but my dream was always to come to the University of Namibia. What I've learned from that experience is the fact that um, Persistence, perseverance and patience is a very important quality in life. It is a very uh, good thing. It gives you a perspective, a different perspective about life, although it's, it's more not everyday classes, but the expose, exposure that you get and how you have to manage your time, how you have to manage yourself, how you have to go through your own emotions, your feelings, your behavior. And it has really grown me as a person and I, I apply those skills. People could not believe that I failed NAM, NAMCO. I came to UNAM and for 10 years after that, because I have decided when I failed grade 12, I will be studying for 10 years. I will not stop studying until I got the PhD. And it happened and that's a choice that I have made. I don't think NAMCO is a bad place to be. And, and I can proudly say I have groomed students at NAMCO at Yeduyama Center that are currently studying at NAST through my motivational talks at NAMCO. So it is not really a bad place because things happen for reasons. It's just how you look at the things. And all of us have got a, your best story is not yet written until you, move, until you leave this world. So I'm still writing my story. But NAMCO is just part of it. But I, I think if you don't make it in Great World, there are reasons why a lot of things happen. It's just how you look at it. But then you will tell me, I'm only 18. How will I look at you? You are 38. You are already a doctor. But that's life. That's the spice of life. Whether you like it, you, you would not want to know what's going to happen to you tomorrow. That's the spice. You have to eat it. You have to eat what is given to you. So I think if you get the chance to get into Namkol, they grab the opportunity with both hands. Nowadays, Namkol is even giving scholarships. Our days, that was not possible. As a Namkol graduate, I, I can proudly say, and uh, currently I'm a senior academic, I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Namibia, and my best story is not yet written because I'm going to become a professor from Namco, and this is what I want students to take. You can be anything you want to be, as long as you're honest with yourself and you know where you are going. Helena also upgraded her qualifications through Namco. Helena is a Sun student from Omaeke region, born from a Sun mom and a Sun dad. I, a Kavango speaking man, uh, we are eight kids, but so far it's only Helena that have made it so far to the university that is educated basically. Yeah, and I'm from Omaeke, Trimopsis, Resettlement Camp. After completing my grade 12, it was 2006. I failed with 10 points at Johannes Doring High School. It is 15 kilos from Hobarbis, and I came to Winduk to upgrade at Namkol. Uh, my upgrading at Namkol, first yes, I was not serious, I was not dedicated. I just go to school, just to have fun and friends to go out. But it, as years was passing, I felt like I have to do something I, if I want to achieve something in life. And that's when I get serious. And I did, I was a science, science person. At school I was doing science, but I changed to commerce at Namcol. First year to do accounting and economics and business, it was all first hand experience and at Namcol. Uh, people could say like Namcol, people don't pass or they won't get, achieve something that they want. But with me, first hand experience, I went to those classes and I passed my models. Like I could even get a B, C, D, 
but at school I didn't but when I sit in that Namcol classes and decide that I want to achieve something it really helped me and at Namcol I got my 20, 29 points to be at UNA. I studied higher diploma in accounting and auditing it was a three-year course now I am busy with my bachelor's of in accounting so for me I will look for, I'm searching for job, at least not only to be in school, but also to gain experience. Some people feel like Namcol is useless or it's not credited or something, but that's not true. Like Namcol for me, it's an opportunity. When you fail, it's an opportunity that you get grade 10 or grade 12. But if you go there, go with this aim that I will go past. They offered usually like lecturers or tutors that could assist you. So take that opportunity and know that through Namcol you can even be enrolled at Polytech like NAS and UNAM. You can make it through if it. I was at Namcol. I came to Namcol with 10 points. That 10 points that I had was for the science field, but I have managed to get 29 points at Namcol and I have completed my higher diploma at UNAM through Namcol and for me that was the opportunity that I got and if you got it you must just use it wisely then you will achieve what you want. It's a wrap visited the college on Independence Avenue in Katutura and was amazed by the offerings at the college.